so I recently attended the 801010 Food and Lifestyle Retreat uh, down in Cedra Woolly, Cedra Woolly, Washington. And I just wanted to make a quick review of the whole retreat and tell you kind of what it was about. So basically how our day would go is we would wake up and we'd have morning movements. So we'd do a little bit of light exercise. You know, sometimes it was core work. Sometimes we played on those big bouncy rubbery balls. It was just a great way to start the day. And we did that in the gymnasium, which was actually just down the hall from where my bed was. So it was really cool being able to wake up and then walk down, you know, take 10 steps. And then you're in this gym that has, you know, all these different exercise equipments, trampolines, BOSU balls, ropes, you know, pull-up bars, everything, soccer balls, baseballs, everything. Uh, it was just a giant area for adults to play, and we would start our day with morning movement. Uh, following that, we would have breakfast, and normally for breakfast, we had, you know, melons, and they were absolutely fantastic. Some of them tasted, I swear, like caramel. They were that good. And then following breakfast, we would have lectures by Doug, uh, which were incredibly informative, uh, a lot of the time focused on sort of more the science of training and the uh, science behind the food and the diet. And then following Doug's lectures, we would have, you know, another workout. And that was always great. Doug took me aside one day and taught me how to deadlift, which was something I'd been uh, interested in learning uh, to help improve my running. So I really appreciated his one-on-one -on -one time. And then normally after that, we would have lunch, and lunch was normally a sweet fruit meal, like bananas, bananas and figs, bananas and celery. It was just fantastic. We had banana ice cream once for lunch, and it was absolutely incredible. And then following that, we would have another couple lectures with Doug's wife, Rosalind, and they focused more on like the emotional side of eating and how to interact as you know, a raw vegan in a very, almost in a world that is predominantly cooked food. And so that was interesting. And the cool thing about that was it was much more of a interactive experience with her. Like we talked a lot more with, uh, you know, the other people who were attending and kind of just bounced ideas off each other. So it felt very inclusive with Rosalind. And I really enjoyed that. And then sometimes, usually in the afternoon, I would sneak away and do a bit of running. And I got to run with Grant uh, Campbell a couple times. He was just uh, absolutely incredible. And uh, before dinner, we would normally have our food demo with Aaron Valentine, which was awesome. Just learning, uh, you know, little tricks of being uh, preparing raw food. And, you know, even one time I just asked her, you know, how to make all these different foreign recipes with, you know, different sort of things. And she gave me this, wrote down this entire list of how to make, you know, Mexican, Middle Eastern, you know, Japanese flavor food, Thai food, just Greek food, all these different food combinations that I never would have thought about. And her knowledge was, was amazing. And then uh, before dinner, we would start with, um, you know, we'd have to do gratitudes, which we just basically go around and say what we were grateful for. And I really enjoyed this. I got to enjoy it and got more engaged in this as the uh, retreat went on. And uh, yeah, definitely grateful for the level of professionalism at the retreat. And as well as the, the kitchen staff. The kitchen staff. Because... <clears throat> You know, I was, you know, busy doing things, attending all the lectures and going on doing workouts. So the kitchen staff would prepare food for 17 people, three meals a day. And it was a lot of work. And I always appreciated just being able to come to dinner and sit down and have food ready for me. It was such a treat not to prepare. So I was really grateful for the kitchen staff. They were absolutely incredible. And then Dinners, you know, we had a bit more variety, a lot of vegetables at dinner. You know, one night we had a burger night, um, and it was absolutely fantastic. The ambiance and the music and the place settings were always 
top notch and very welcoming and it was just a great environment uh, to be around. And then after dinner we would have, you know, maybe another lecture with um, some, someone else on a different perspective, you know, you know, an athlete, a dancer, or just different people and uh, hearing different stories of, you know, people who have gone through and lived this lifestyle for a long time. And you know what, at the end of the day, the retreat was absolutely incredible. Uh, everyone was incredibly friendly. My goal down there was to go meet more people who like to eat fruit. And that was incredibly successful. I learned a lot. I had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Doug, which I really appreciated. And I felt he was able to tailor certain events of the treats um, more for my needs. And I was very grateful for that. And you know what? I had a fantastic time. And like I said, the people were fantastic. And I would highly recommend going to any one of the 801010 food and sport retreats. So that's it. Go down, eat some fruit. It's fantastic. Make some friends. Have a good time. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.